And I, I did a whole lecture just a couple of weeks ago at, at, at the, in Missouri. Uh, one of the lectures was called Biblical Racism. And it was about the crisis uh, brought on in, uh, in Europe, in, you know, civilized, you know, human civilization at the time, you know, Western Europe, when you had the age of discovery, when other lands started being discovered because people crossed the Atlantic, you know, or they, they penetrated further south and they, they you know, they, they find India, they, they, they spend more time in China, you know, the, you get this widening of, of discovery of places and peoples that are not specifically in the Bible. So that, that just freaked people out. You know, like, how in the, how'd they get here? And so it became sort of an issue, I think it's sort of a pseudo issue of biblical authority. And so Many people thought that the solution was to find those places in the Bible somewhere. And that's where you come up with these pre-Adamic race ideas and co-Adamic race ideas. And, you know, and that degenerated into certain racial theories. And that, that's why I called the, the lecture biblical racism, uh, because a lot of what we know today as racism that, that we're still dealing with, you know, which, which came from, again, European attitudes toward other races and the slave trade and all that stuff, that in turn came from it got a, quote, biblical legitimacy in this era when people were inventing interpretations of all sorts of passages to account for these alternate races so that they could sort of keep their Bible, so that, that the Bible would remain intact as this thing that, that had authority. And it was really misguided. Instead of just saying, hey, let, let's just leave the Bible be what it is. It's an ancient Mediterranean-centered document focused, you know, on the ancient Near East and, you know, the, the Mediterranean world. And that's what they knew. Read the Table of Nations. Instead of just saying that, it's like, no, 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 no. The Bible has to be totally comprehensive. Everything that's real has to be in there somewhere. You know, there's just this really odd, quirky mentality. Frankly, you still see today. I mean, it's, it's alive and well today. But because of the age of discovery and these other people and these places that, that just Where's North America in the Bible? Where, you know, where's that? Where's Australia? Well, it's got to be in there somewhere. We got to account for these people somehow. And so that's when you get all these strange theories about alternate human origins and ultimate alternate races. And think about it. When you do that, then there are only certain peoples who are actually descended from Adam. Other peoples are descended from something else or someone else. And so surely the best races, the races closest to God, most like God, the ones who actually are in the image of God, those come from Adam. But these other races, no, 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 not so much. They're lesser. Uh, and, and again, it's not hard for us to see where this led. We have plenty of hindsight that's, that's frankly tragic. And again, I, we just do this to Scripture all the time. I'm not saying the questioner is, but, but, but we, we do this stuff to Scripture all the time. We take these modern questions, we take modern science, we take modern debates, we take modern concerns, and we go looking for them in the Bible. And, you know, by God, we're going to find them somewhere, or we're going we're gonna to bend the Scripture to our will, whatever position we take on those controversies. We're going to bend the Bible to our will to make it work. And why do we do that? But we, we think we have to for, for biblical authority. And that comes from this frankly, slavish literalism that has just run through the church for, for far too long, you know, without respecting the original context of, of Old or New Testament, without looking what New Testament writers do with the Old, do they always interpret it, you know, absolutely literally? No, they don't. But we teach it like they do, but they don't. Uh, we just ignore these things, again, because we think, oh, we, we can't give this ground or else, you know, the Darwinists win something. It's just crazy. It's just crazy town. Uh, when you, you get into these into these situations, and I understand the motivation again to keep biblical authority. Well, I haven't surrendered biblical authority, but I don't buy any of the methods, and I and that's what infuriates critics that I talk to, and frankly, it makes a lot of Christians angry too. But that's that that's too bad. Uh, it's just a more it's a more coherent way. It's it's a, to me, it's a very obvious way to approach things.